Hey guys, what is going on? Payne here once again, and welcome back to another episode of my Swansea career on FIFA 14. It is good to be back actually doing this again. I had like a couple of days off um, not recording any FIFA footage whatsoever, you know, doing the post commentary and everything, because I thought I was going to lose my voice. Thankfully, I didn't. And I'm back to the way I was, and it feels great, you know, when you get over things like that, and you're back to your usual self. So I didn't really want to record anything whilst I was going through that, because I thought to myself, well, if I continue on this way, you know, I'm going to strain my voice even more, and I could possibly be out for another week or two until it gets back to uh, the way it was. Thankfully, though, I had episodes already completed, uploaded to YouTube. All I had to do was set to public so you guys could view it every every day of the week pretty much in the afternoon so it was only really me that noticed the difference for you guys it would have been business as usual <laughs> but anyway Swansea career on FIFA 14 kicking off things Pablo Hernandez what a beast scoring the opening goal against Southampton and what a finish it was five minutes in you wouldn't think you would see a goal like that five minutes into a game a game that was a must win pretty much every game this season now as we draw closer to the end is a must win if we want Champions League football for next season but just take a look at that finish absolutely sublime take a bow son and whilst I was playing this I was thinking to myself well Pablo Hernandez is known to have a devastating right foot he can tear the opposition to shreds with it I mean we've seen it previously in this Swansea career with the free kicks that he's taken so I saw Kasper Schmeichel off his line ever so slightly and I thought well we all know that FIFA 14 the new feature was the ball physics and everything how the ball you know is real in a way it's realistic how it drops and I thought I'd go for it boom 1-0 up against Southampton put us into the driver's seat because we all know Southampton to be fair can be a tricky side on FIFA 14 I mean they've proven that time and time again in past career modes that I've done with the likes of Manchester United that was one of the main main career modes where Southampton were my bogey team Southampton they just they they can be one of those tricky sides to beat and also when I did my Everton career you know they were difficult to beat but we managed to overcome them in that Premier League game and we got the three points from that so it's looking good in the league table I then had to set my focus on this next game again in the Premier League it was against Arsenal now if you remember in my previous episode Arsenal knocked Swansea City out of the FA Cup I wanted a bit of revenge I wanted those three points and we could possibly catch up with Arsenal as well maybe even um, go ahead of them in the league table that that would just be perfect it would be a bit of revenge get them back and the likes of Ashley Williams and Joel Matip worked wonders in this game. I was so impressed with how they were, you know, positioning themselves, always in the right place at the right time, always ready to make that tackle. And Townsend, former Tottenham player, Arsenal fans wouldn't be too happy about that. Bonnie almost made it 1-0. This ball went wide. But a couple of minutes later, Bonnie did make it 1-0. It was Debushi this time that assisted him, swinging in across. And Barney scored with his head yet again. He's just a beast. He's amazing. I'm just going to take advantage of that head <laughs> as we go on throughout this career mode, guys. You know, why not? Just like Pablo Hernandez can tear the opposition to shreds with his right foot, Wilfred Bonney can do one better and tear the opposition to shreds with his head. You know, it's great having qualities like that on your team. It's a good pedestal to work from and just take advantage of it and qualities like that can possibly see you in the Champions League for next season and working towards maybe lifting Swansea's first ever Premier League trophy. You never know what's going to happen in the seasons to come, especially if we keep developing like this. It was Alexander Lacazette who made it 2-0 to Swansea at the Emirates against Arsenal. What more can I say? Wonderful stuff. And in real life, whenever you see a player move in January, it always seems to take that player a bit of time to get used to the team, to settle in, but Lacazette seems as though he, you know, he, he's, he's comfortable with Swansea. He's fitted in straight away and he's already scoring, linking up with Bonnie just nicely. 
And, uh, you know, I think sticking with that 4-3-3 formation that I've got going on at the moment, Lacazette, I'm allowing him to play on the right wing and Townsend over on the left. Sometimes you can swap that around. It's, it's all coming together. The pieces are coming together, falling into place and eventually we'll be up there competing with some of the top sides. And speaking of top sides, we had to play the Dutch Champions Ajax in the next round of the Europa League. That was our next fixture. We was playing away, so we had that slight advantage of if we score as many goals as possible, we've got that away goal that we can work on in the, the, the second leg, back at the Liberty Stadium, back in South Wales. And I've got to say, we, uh, we really pulled it together in this game. I was uh, impressed. We had the most possession. We really worked the ball down both flanks. That's that's just the way I play my game. That's my my playing style. It's good attacking movement. Looking for that overlap with the two full backs. Working to, alongside with the wingers. Always seems to work out. Especially if you've got someone like uh, Bonnie up front as well. Who you, can, who you can rely on. De Jong for Ajax. Almost opened up the scoring. Just under half an hour gone. If the ball had just been to the right. Just a little bit. It might have crept into the bottom corner. Um, Vaughan was diving for it. A couple of minutes later, it was on for Swansea. Could we open up the score? And Bonnie was in there. Lacazette, Townsend. It was an absolute scramble. But still, nothing came for it. You know, it was turning out to be one of those games. It was getting very heated against Ajax. And Sigurdsson, with a low, hard shot. Vaughan just got a foot to that and put that one over for a corner kick for Ajax. Nothing came of that, obviously. Otherwise, you'd be seeing the highlights right now. But I was very surprised that they weren't at least 2-0 up. And just look at this run by Alexander Lacazette. Fooling the defenders as he comes way out of his position. He's supposed to be down that right wing. And he pulls in like an inside forwards. Comes through midfield. Straight through Ajax's back four. They're, they're a bit gazumped. They, they don't know what's going on. And Lacazette with his left foot. He's a lefty as well. Smash that one straight across the front of goal. Goalkeeper couldn't understand what was going on. And so we found ourselves 1-0 up. Certainly not what Ajax were hoping for as we had that away goal. And Townsend made it 2-0 to Swansea with a fantastic finesse shot. I love finesse shots. I can't get enough of them. You know, just going one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and curling that one around into maybe the bottom corner. You know, when the ball rolls across the grass. I love goals like that. I love to see it. It's just so cheeky. It's so... It's finesse. It is amazing. I love it. And Townsend did just that with his right foot. This time it went into the... Uh, well, the bottom right-hand corner, we can say. Didn't roll across the grass, but... We got the goal. That's the main main thing, really. 2-0 up. Two away goals for Swansea. But Sigurdsson, who were being worn in Swansea all through the game, eventually got a goal, clawed it back for Ajax. They are still in this fixture now. We've still got to play them in the second leg of the Europa Cup, but we are halfway there. If we can do this again back in South Wales at the Liberty Stadium, we will be going through to the next round of the Europa Cup. And just take a look at some of the headlines here. Lacazette, the name on fans' lips. Ever since he has arrived at Swansea, he has done nothing but perform magnificently. Um, I mean, getting his name on the score sheet a couple of times as well, especially against Arsenal, which was a huge fixture. Um, I haven't actually showed you the league table just yet, but don't worry. All will be revealed very soon. Maybe not in this video, as we've got to focus on the Ajax game because this is the second leg now. Um, but probably in the next video I will uh, show you guys the league table and the current standings, how Swansea fare, especially uh, stripping Arsenal of all three points in that game. That's probably the, uh, the most important so far in this video, that Arsenal game in the Premier League. And just look at Townsend there, so unfortunate. And it's that flair from Townsend that was proving him to be key in both of these legs, home and away against Ajax. He was just becoming a huge nuisance for their back four. He's getting all up in their grill, that's what I like. You know, just piling on the pressure, attacking them, pinning them back as much as possible. And it was just unfortunate that he didn't get that shot on target, really, with his uh, right foot. I was going to say his left, but would have been a tricky angle if it was his left foot. But it was his right foot, and he tried to kill that one round. Goalkeeper did jump for it, but again, it was just unfortunate. Ajax piling on the pressure to Swansea. They knew what they had to do in this game. 
they needed to claw back a goal try and keep it at a 1-0 they could possibly move this one into extra time if need be or even penalties something that I wanted to avoid myself and look at Kanyas winning the ball nicely there giving that one to Townsend went for the sweaty it was a sweaty cross I know but I could see Huddleston he was making his way into the box and I thought well you know Huddleston he hasn't scored for a while now let's get him on the score sheet and with such brilliant technique you know, it's very rare that you see a really tall guy, a bulky guy like Huddleston, go for a diving header and he managed to pull it off magnificently. So we were 1-0 up, it was 3-1 on aggregate before half time. Advancing through to the next round of the Europa League was looking more likely and at this point I was just thinking, God I wonder who we're going to get in the next round because if we're managing to beat the Dutch champions here, you know, I, I dread to think who we're going to get. It's going to be difficult. Obviously, I relish the challenge. I look forward to it. But can Swansea do it? Can we go all the way now after beating Ajax? I mean, confidence is going to be sky high. Um, I thought the Dutch champions, they wasn't really given much. They knew what they had to do. Um, and by a silly decision by myself, you know, Williams coming in, barging. I think that was Fisher out the way. No, it was Sanna. He like barged him out of the way, pushed him to ground and gave away a silly penalty. So don't forget it was 3-1 on aggregate. If they got this it would be 3-2, 70th minute, still plenty of time to get back into this. It was De Jong to step up, would form pull off a save here. De Jong managed to net himself and his team a goal. 1-1 was the final score, 3-2 on aggregate. You know what that means? The dream stays alive for Swansea in the Europa League as we go through to the next round. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.